Time is running out tonight for a convicted cop killer who's been on Alabama's death row for more than three decades. Vernon Madison set to be executed in less than 21 hours. He shot Mobile Police Officer Julius Schulte in the back of the head in 1985. Hi there, everyone. Thank you for looking in tonight. I'm Lenise Lagan. Bob Grip is off. Now, this is a crime that rocked the port city, and for some people connected to the case, closure has taken far too long. Madison is one of the longest serving inmates on death row. Only three others have been there longer. Fox News reporter Lee Peck was at home in prison just last year when Madison was scheduled to be executed. Lee, his attorneys are hoping for another stay tomorrow, but others are saying it's past time for Madison to die. Well, that's right, Lenise. And one of those people is the man who Madison confessed to back in 1985. Take a look at this picture. You see Vernon Madison being escorted into the courthouse. He's cuffed to the man to the right, retired Mobile Police homicide detective Wilbur Williams. Now Williams set in on all three of Madison's trials and has closely followed the case over the last 32 years. He says the department was devastated over Corporal Schulte's murder, a 22 year veteran who was well respected throughout the community for his work with juveniles. Now as Madison's attorneys continue to argue a series of strokes have left him with dementia to the point where he no longer understands why he's being executed. Williams says based on the latest Supreme Court ruling in the case, he believes time is up for Madison. It appears to me that, that uh, you know, he's probably looking at a date with the needle at about 6 o'clock tomorrow afternoon. That's just, you know, the, uh, sometimes you get a, an opinion that leaves a back door and you can kind of sense that they probably will stop it the next time too. But I just, uh, I kind of got the feeling that, that they realize they help create these situations where prisoners are kept on death row for 30 plus years. It's very, very personal to me and, and very close to my heart. And, and uh, I just hope that uh, I hope justice is served. We'll be at Holman Correctional Facility tomorrow where Madison is scheduled to die by lethal injection at 6 p.m.